Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. President Mohamed reacts as Senate moves to sack service chiefs. Finally, a breath of fresh air. Somebody is speaking. The first time in a long time. God, we bless the Senate. Oh, they've done one good thing. One good thing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. At last, somebody, you know God there eh, is a way, you know the cow, the cow that has lost his tail, the tailless cow. It's God that helps him to drive out the flies that comes to stay around his both. If you understand that proverb, my father used to say it very well. What am I saying? These service chiefs are not working. Have you heard of the level of insecurity in the country? It's no longer renews the issue of blood and kidnapping and bandits and here and there. It's like an everyday life. And when somebody here, nobody's, it's no longer, people are no longer tickled by it. Or, you know, they wonder, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's your turn. You know, it has become like an everyday thing. It ought not to be so. It ought not to be so. When there are security agencies in this country, Remember that these people were not elected. Buhari himself was the one that gave them this appointment for a long time. They've not been working. Since Buhari came in, the security of the country has worsened. It's worse than it has ever been since 1999. Nigeria became a democratic certain. It all started with Olusegun Obasanjo. And guess what? We allegedly heard that three northern governors were not happy that uh, Olusegun did not come to the north first. And so they put money together and instigated, you know, some young boys paid them, gave them weapons and say, cause unrest just to disturb the administration. But you know the funniest thing? A man that takes a lion to be a pet should get ready. The pet will be what the thing that will finish his family eventually. That's what happened. From there, from Olusegun to Maru Yaradua, late Maru Yaradua, so good luck, Jonathan. Oh, Nigerians were like, oh, the level of insecurity is too much. And so when Buhari in his whatever came on board, we we're like, yes, it's from the north. Things are going to be different. It's going to work hard. It's going to make sure. Guess what? Hmm. Worse than ever before. And anytime anybody speaks to say, sack them, Buhari plays the dumb ear. Now, Senate has finally spoken. Let us sack them for good. And Buhari is reacting. Let's hear what he has to say. President Muhammad Buhari reacts as Senate moves to sack service chiefs. President Muhammad Buhari has rejected. You hear this man? There is something that is going on. No, oh, hmm, I won't say anything. A call by the Nigerian Senate to sack all servicing ch service chiefs due to the recent spree of insecurity in the country on Tuesday. The Senate issued a resolution to the removal of the service chiefs, a resolution the president has now rejected. What is it with President Muhammad Buhari and this insecurity in the country? Is there a covenant? Is there a tie to it? Is that what makes his uh, administration to flourish? Because when something is beginning to repeat and repeat itself, you cannot continue with the same formula and expect a different result. Let's continue. In a statement sent to Politics Nigeria on Tuesday, the president notes that the removal of the Chevy's chiefs can only be done by the president. Eh? who is also the chief of the armed forces. Are you not tired of this insecurity going on in this country? The Senate Tuesday adopted a resolution calling on the service chiefs to resign or be sacked due to multiple prolonged insecurity challenges in the country. The presidency notes that the resolution and retreatment of the appointment of the sack of service chief is a president's prerogative. And President Muhammad Buhari, in his capacity as Captain, chief of the armed forces, will do what is best interest for the country. You are not doing what is best now. You are not, eh, of the country. And as such, he has refused to sack them. My people, hmm, there is, a, there is something between Buhari and these people, though. There is something he has promised them or they have promised him. Hence, he cannot remove them. There is a path that they have agreed to, to say, you know what, we must do this. Abi, what do you want me to say now? Eh? Look at the level of insecurity. Look at the way they will go to a village and clear the whole village. 
Eh? They will clear a whole village. It does not consign Muhammad to Buhari. It does not consign him in any way, form or kind. But can you remember when his son had an, a, a bike accident? Did you remember that he left everything in this country and went after his son? And when his son even came back, some governors and whatever went there. Yeah, you are welcome. We welcome you. Your this, these men are not doing anything. And I don't know why Buhari cannot send them packing and bring in some other people. As soon as, because I don't know, it's like there is a part, there is an agreement between him and them. As soon as people began to speak, the Senate now said, okay, sack them. He has replied the Senate saying it is the presidential duty. You cannot remove them. Why? He said it's the presidential duty. You cannot remove them. What is the problem? What is it with these service chiefs and President Muhammad Buhari? Is there something they are not telling us? Is there something we don't know? Is there a secret? Because we see that they are destroying lives and property. Even soldiers have been accused of killing fellow soldiers when they attack the B-boys. Yet the president of the country is very comfortable and says nothing. And is smiling all the way. My dear, hmm, open your eyes and shine it very well. Oh. Something is not quite right here. I can tell you for sure. You know what the people say? I smell the rats. Why is it's up to the extent now that senators are saying, mm -mm, enough is enough. You want all Nigerians to die, Abi? This is the person that went to his own state, his own home state, and they began to stone him. They began to tear down his b board. They said, you know, and guess what? It does not bother him because it does not concern his, his children. Because, I mean, he doesn't really care much about his wife anyway. Look at what happened when his wife, when there was chaos in, in Asso Rock, gunshots and the rest. President Wanbot Bura did not say a word. So I don't think he cares very much for his wife because if he did, we will know. By their actions, by their deeds, you will know them. He didn't say a word, not a word, you know. And they've actually permanently put her in a place. Have you heard her spoken since that incident? She had to be speaking on, uh, on Twitter saying, uh, tell the service chief, so tell the chief of police to release my aid, blah, 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 blah. Buhari did not say a word as if nothing happened, as if there was no gunshot in the presidential villa. Yes, my dear, this is what is going on in this country. And you call this person the number one citizen who is looking after these people, you see? So now, Nigerians are calling, not even Nigerians, so the Senate has finally seen it. You know the funniest thing? Until he gets to Buhari's you know, doorstep, he will not understand what is going on. Until he gets into his doorstep, until one of his family members is that, you know, they have the protection of the battalion around them. So he does not understand what is going on with Nigerians, what Nigerians are truly facing. He does not have a clue. Hence, he's not bothered. Senators say, you know what, let these guys go. Let's get competent hands. And guess what? It is nothing if Nigerian government wants to really deal with these people. It will only take them a week. This whole menac and the nonsense will stop. Have you heard that they now have a, an helicopter? People have been saying that comes to drop ammunition, food, and daylight, not in the night anymore in this country. Did you hear what uh, Trump said? That they are tagging Nigerian a religious intolerance uh, country. That wasn't where I said, hey, is it true? Hey... What is going on in this country? Oh, is it true that they've done this? So he does not even have a clue what is going on. See, what is happening in this country in the north, some part of the country, see, if, it is, if there is no hands from the top level, it will not prevail as much as it's doing. Just take, me, take it on that. If there are no people from the top level supporting this, do you remember what happened when Chad dealt with these very people? Buhari was the one who sent message, don't kill them, oh, Buhari. It's not a news. It's not a. It's not my idea. It's exactly what happened in this country. Please don't do anything to them. That's what he said. Don't do anything to them. Was what President Muhammad Buhari said. Nigerians, there is something fishy, you know, and we don't know about it. There is a secret agenda going on in this country, and everybody is keeping quiet. Everybody pretend as if nothing is happening, but a lot is going on. Well. God will deliver us. He has been the one who has been keeping us. And we continue to keep us. Because with what is happening in this country, only God can truly help us. Mm. But Buhari said they should, not, uh, they, should not, uh, they should not sack them. It is his duty to sack them. No other person can sack them. So what are you doing, Buhari? What are you doing with regards to what is going on with the insecurity level in the country? Do you know the number of people that go live every day? Women, children, families. Do you have a clue? Well, hmm, Nigerians, you can see for yourself. Oh, 
you can hear it yourself. This is what is going on, daylight in this country, and the president of this country is behaving as if nothing is happening because it does not consign him. What do you think? Don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.